All right, what's up, guys? We're gonna do our ten box, ten box break. I'm gonna do our uh, mini first, though, as always. As always, I'm gonna uh, got a couple of min uh, minutes early on here because I wanted to tag everyone. This uh, takes a little bit to get this all going, so start doing this. Uh, let me uh, share it this way. It's easier to share on my actual uh, setup. Uh, let's see. Let me do it two groups. Let me do two a page first. Uh, I can share it. Once I get some more information, I'm gonna start looking for a. Uh, Link copy is in. Takes a little bit to share to sell, so I'm getting this all uh, while everyone gets in here. So share to NBCC in here. What's up, guys? Happy uh, weekend. It's been kind of quieter tonight as uh, some things are going to start opening up over the next uh, couple months slowly. You can see, uh, whoa. Let's see. Cool. Yeah, it's talking about, uh, we'll do something at the end of the year once we're approved, because I'm sure we'll be able to do stuff. There'll probably just be a cap on the amount of people we can have there. So, I know uh, the next phase is like 50 people, so I'm sure it'll be that way by the end of summer, especially in Phoenix with it being 110, 120, so. Uh, what is this we're going to say? 10 bucks. Uh, Inception. Gypsy. We're going to do our mini in a second. It's getting uh, live on the air, guys. What's up? Uh, this is our uh, mixer. I'm going to do another uh, half case of Gypsy, or uh, Inception, I mean. Uh, I'm going to put it with 18 uh, Gypsy, I think, uh, and then something else to go along with it. Maybe, uh, maybe let's see. I don't know. I think something, it's going to be around the same price as this, so uh, I'm, I'm probably going to do it with, uh, uh, I was thinking about doing it with a tier one, just to keep the price down a little bit, because if I do um, tribute with it, it's going to be pretty, pretty hardy, so I want to have it fill uh, pretty quick so I think that will be uh, a good one to add on three hits plus the uh, 18 gypsy for uh, paper to go along with it so it's kind of my plans going forward all right to get this all going like I said taking a bit I gotta post this all post on our uh, yeah, we'll do it let's see uh, we have pretty much as Tyrone and two others for our mini so um, it's top four. I think it's Greg and Tyrone and someone else. Check who is our participant. I think Michael. My brain. Yeah. Eric, like I said, I got full. Um, so Phil, uh, close it up for you. Uh, let's see. Let's get this uh, Let's share this real quick. All right. I just want to get some more viewers. I'm going to, uh, like I said, tweet this. You guys can share this really easily, too. So. All right. Uh, let's see. We're good. I did our, uh, we just did a, a gypsy. I mean, a, a ginter. We have draft up right now and all that, so uh, let's go. Got this, and we'll go. Like I said, uh, it's going to be uh, just our mini. I'm going to start this at the bottom of the hour. just want to get live in the air. It's going to be kind of lighter right now. It's dinner time. Uh, we're going to start. I'm going to start looking at Zoom tonight a little bit. I'm going to download it and start playing with it a little bit. Uh, I might put it on this. You guys recommend it on your phone or on a, a tablet? What are you guys using Zoom on it? <laughs> I, I have a setup already. I just don't know how to integrate it. I got to look at it. It's the easiest way because I can actually set up here and just use it as a normal office. I got to uh, look at that, though. Uh, we have our basketball uh, a break on the right-hand side. That is pretty close to full. We got, uh, what, eight, seven spots left? 34 bucks. It's uh, Contenders, Draft Picks, six autos, uh, Origins, two box, and Crown Royale. Super, super, super monster products. Just waiting to give this a little bit, getting everyone in here, so sharing the links all around. Uh, I'm going to get the link uh, on the actual, uh, what do you call it, signups too, so uh, just kind of showing off what I uh, have a little bit while I sit on the air, so go uh, check out our group. It is all, uh, everything's up there. We're going to go to a website once uh, a production starts again, whenever that may be. All right, so like I said, all subscribe. I'm getting a lot of subscribers, so I'm going to start doing uh, some more stuff. Uh, for other sports, I'm looking at our football list this weekend to see what we have, uh, what I have in stock. Uh, I'll post up some stuff on that. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else? Uh, da, 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 we have basketball, two basketball breaks. I'll get some more basketball in as well. 
Um, but pretty much baseball is uh, king here, pretty much. We've been filling a ton of baseball. I still have a bunch. I brought in some Ginter uh, 17. We have 18 Gypsy, so trying to get some cool stuff. Heck yeah, you did pretty well in the Rockies already. I'm uh, buttoning stuff up right now to get out the door this uh, weekend, so. Uh, everything is already sorted up until uh, the break a couple minutes ago, so everything is already starting to go out over these last couple days. So, um, uh, gonna get this another thirty seconds. We'll start doing our uh, mini though right now. Let's uh, get this going. Uh, we already got that we live. I got uh, the four box of a Ginter in high tech, a two box, so it's a six box mixer up. We got a uh, four box uh, prospect mixer up. That's pretty cool. Uh, uh, draft eighteen, uh, eighteen minor heritage and uh, pro debut nineteen. And also uh, Bowman's Best, so pretty much really big uh, products all around there. Uh, those two breaks are up, High Tech and uh, Ginter. It's 18 and 17, so six boxes. Uh, let's see. Let me just uh, get this uh, mini going, and we'll be all good. Just try and get our pull up right here so I can get it ready. Once we get another uh, mixer, the next mixer going to go up is going to be a, uh, what do I have? It's going to be a five-star, 18 Gypsy. Uh, Heritage 20 and 18, uh, 19 update. It's going to be a uh, 18 through 20 break pretty much. Kind of a cool little mixer a little bit. Because um, the update is monstrous. Update is monstrous. So uh, that's 19 update with the Vladdy, Tatis. Uh, pretty much every rookie is in that. So I got three more boxes of that. We'll finish that out. The, the supply on that. Uh, that will be in that with Heritage, Gypsy Queen 18 and 5 star. So 5 star is still, uh, we're still looking for a case hit out of that. So I think I got four boxes left of it so there should be a monster on that and let's pull up youtube let me just get this so i can see what you guys are saying while we do this i'm gonna pull up our uh, mini right now it is the uh cubs and royals and uh padres and rays already got up here let's see i'm gonna blow it up we'll go to uh turn 18 i think i'm gonna watch them live pd tonight that's on tonight i just did a uh, free trial uh, no, I'm done for tonight. I'm, uh... Alright, cool. Uh, I'm just getting a chat up so you can see it. Alright. It's pretty responsive. This is a lot more responsive than Facebook. You can actually see you guys in live. Like, it's pretty cool, so. I was going to put you as AK, but you both are AKs. <laughs> you guys have cool, uh, you guys have really cool, uh, what do you call it? Initials. All right, let's go. Uh, we're going to do our uh, mini right now. You guys uh, see it all. I'm uh, locking up posts so we get uh, the easy, uh, so stuff doesn't get flooded up here. So uh, once we're done, I pretty much shut down comments. If you guys have any questions, just hit up my business page. Um, everything is tracked and shipped on PayPal, though. Uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, shows up. I'm um, getting everything out the door. Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday this week. I'll drop everything out Monday and Tuesday. So if it hasn't already been dropped off. Yeah, it's pretty fun. It gets a little old after a while, though. As you guys know, it's like the same like couple of calls. It's like either domestic or... That was the one thing I kind of like. I'm like, ah. Uh, they got to kind of like produce it a little better. I mean, uh, I don't I, I, I don't envy uh, any uh, law enforcement or uh, even uh, military PD. All those guys. I don't, I don't envy you guys. Some nights, especially, uh, <laughs> oh, he's gonna be cool. okay. Uh, I, this is a top four for uh, we'll call this Gypsy Inception. I'm gonna do, um, instead of doing Gypsy 18 since I have to reorder it and it went up, it's about 135, 140 a box right now already. It was lower, it already went up about 15 to 20 bucks, so um, but uh, yeah. Um, that's pretty much where we're at right now. Just let you know, it's, uh, it's getting really, really, really big on, uh, new products. I mean, not, I, I, my three distributors that I have are all out of Gypsy Queen or, uh, either one or the other right now already. So that's kind of crazy already. We haven't even, uh, it's only April. Usually Gypsy Queen is, I can get cases and cases at a time. So, um, right now if I want Gypsy, I got to order it out of LA just letting you know. So it'll be a little bit later in the week, but I do have 18 Gypsy, which is, it's Walker Bueller. I'm trying to think who else. It's uh, Hoskins, um, Otani. So I'll try to mix that in and maybe 19. Try to do some kind of uh, uh, kind of spacing out a little bit. Just uh, kind of. Uh, I want to keep the value down with especially the half cases to keep it uh, a little bit, uh, you know, because a case of Inception is almost what, about two, two Gs right now. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, uh, 
Traces. Is, it's a good thing for singles, though, because I saw singles are uh, pretty doing pretty well, even uh, some of the lower hits. I do a order. I already got some coming in. I have a tribute box coming as well, so I'm trying to figure out that. So that is coming in. I am getting some. I'm going to do probably a divisional 19 uh, minors, and then we'll do a... Uh, let's make sure we're all good. Um, and then we'll do a... Uh, what do you call it? A, a couple of mixers, just like our prospects as usual. They, they feel really well, at least in a couple days, so... Warning, some of the older stuff might take a little bit, because some like, Greg, I'll hook you up with something. Since uh, they're the only slow, you see that? That response. I'm in uh, both pretty often, so I'll uh, have to say hi to you guys. Come to the beach and uh, chill. We'll get a cough. We usually uh, try to go to San Diego or something once a year. Hopefully this year we'll be able to do some stuff. I went to the Padres. Padres Stadium. If you guys haven't been to San Diego, I know Mike. See, Goldie and Tatis. Uh, yeah. I used to have MLB TV. I don't have it. It should be free right now. MLB TV should be free, really, uh, with everything going on. All right. Like I said, a little laggy. Uh, I'm going to Gypsy. As it, it looked pretty good last night. It's uh, pingy, though. My uh, Facebook break was pretty good. It was actually not really pingy compared to this. I don't know what the difference is, but Facebook or YouTube should just because we're getting later as well. More people are online right now. It's pretty consistent, though. You guys can really see everything. I'm jerking around a little bit. You can see it a little bit right now. Wait a little bit. This kind of thing's going crazy right now. Pretty good over uh over the summer right now. What's going on with the internet right now? I might have to restart this feed at this rate. Let me uh, try to uh, walk it down again. We're getting some massive hangouts right now. It wasn't like this for we just did a divisional just fine for about what forty minutes. Let's try to uh, max. Uh, let me try to. There we go. Got a little bit steadier. Just try to play uh, defense a little bit right now. There you go. A little bit more steady. You can actually see me. Good. That's why I, I take a second to edit and dance a little bit. <laughs> it's looking a lot steadier, though. It's going to lag a little bit, but I just cocked back my settings a little bit. Yeah, see, TPNC Park. I want to say New Nationals Park. I still got to go to uh, Dodgers. Um, LA Angels. Um, they played a game at night when I was leaving last time. I flew out of Ontario, and I drove past uh, the freeway. Like I said, it's going to lag a little bit. You guys see it's looking pretty good, though, for the most part. There might be a couple ping outs here and there, but I can pretty much steady. You guys see it also. I know, right? Facebook was actually good, and YouTube's not good tonight. I don't understand uh, what's going on. YouTube is really in usage right now. What's the? Let me check the penny out of the, the P right now. What are we at? It's at 360 right now. You think it's 720 right now? So you can uh, you can see this at 720, but usually this is at 10, oh, 10, uh, 80, so. Um, this is the last of Gypsy, a Gypsy Queen in the uh, office. Been flying through aside from 18 Gypsy. So uh, let's get going. You guys know who you have now. Um, I already did the uh, mini. That's all set. Let me just sit back for a second, make sure we're all good. It's a pretty quick one. So uh, like I said, I got basketball going. Trying to break that basketball break tomorrow. I'm going to post up Gypsy Queen and uh, maybe even 18 minors or something. Get something going. What do I have a whole bunch of? I got pro debut. Maybe a pro debut uh, division. We haven't done much of four hits in it, so. Something fun to do, not really much to do. So I'll do a pro debut, that Gypsy, and um, a Ginter. How's that? We'll do that tomorrow. We'll do three divisionals. I'll try to fill all three in a draft is uh, filling. So maybe four divisionals are quick anyway. Um, but other than that, because I don't really have any other mixers aside from that draft, pro debut, minors, and uh, best filling. So kind of do a, yeah, the kingdom and hit the, uh, what do you call it, the things? Nice, man. You're lucky, man. You're lucky. I'll have to hit you up when I'm in uh, Pittsburgh. That's one area I haven't really uh, been around. I've been in Philly a couple times, um, but since I'm from Massachusetts, we usually cut through, you know, the the, the Jersey, Pennsylvania way uh, by uh, Philly. So we don't really, you know, we usually cut through the Philly area. So we don't really go out that way. It's kind of far out of our way. I know a lot of people that went to Hershey. I think that's on the, where's Hershey at? The Easter side? I forgot. But that was kind of like a destination trip for us uh, New Englanders sometimes to kind of come down to uh, further down. It looks absolutely beautiful. I love how the players actually walk in over the Clemente Bridge. Like, how cool is that? I've seen a lot of guys get dog for autographs there, and they've signed, which is a really cool experience, walking in, like, you know, with your uh, your gear coming in. and That's so cool. That's what I like about it. Um, Yaki Way for the Red Sox, they have that, kind of. Um, I even, like, I know Yankee Stadium's kind of a dump in some areas. Whoa, we're losing our... Uh, my thing. I gotta order a new one. This thing's uh said every these holders are so cheap. You can even buy a, a fifty dollar uh camera holder and they'll still break. They're just so cheaply made. <laughs> the molds that they make, so one day my camera breaks, I'm gonna have to put it on the uh 
on the box or something one of these days, these uh, holders. All right, we got uh, three frames, uh, our chrome. There's no uh, big cards, though. Central, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, we don't go that way. I mean, when we're traveling down that, what's that big, the 95 or whatever it is, the 91, I forgot what it is. Uh, that big uh, freeway that goes down from, you know, if you go to Florida all the way. That's a beautiful Rizzo color match. There you go. Let's start this off. So, like I said, I got some cool breaks coming up. Um, I'm going to have another half case. I'm going to team it up with Tier 1 and 18 uh, Gypsy just to kind of do some different kind of looks. Uh, since 20 is kind of getting blown out right now anyway. A 99, a 92 out of 99, Mr. Uh, Rizzo. Kind of helps when I block the other boxes off. I like putting the boxes out just to kind of show that I have the product and just to show off the breaks too, the products. Mookie Betts and Bryce Harper. Uh, but yeah, it's, um, it's interesting, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, that's uh, that's cool. I, uh, I'm making some friends in Chicagoland, too. I uh, I just met a, a season ticket holder. He's been a season ticket holder for about uh, a couple, of, what, 10 to 20 years. So, yeah, it's really cool. So, I'm um, that's exactly, if you guys, like I said, once I get uh, Chase tickets someday, which I will someday get some Chase, you know, about two to three seats a year or something, eventually with a nonprofit in this business, so. So it goes all around. I'll, I'll trade tickets or almost, you know. Hey, man, I'll give you. It's because uh, the teams that come to town here are, oh, man. We get some talent here. And just the stadium here is absolutely beautiful to uh, watch baseball in. It's one of my favorite stadiums, Chase. I, I don't like the feel of the green look. It kind of looks like a warehouse, but it is a really, uh, I don't know. It just it looks cool. Yeah, uh, I think you have. Yes, you do. Yes. I'm just pop loading all these real quick. This is uh, quick since uh, we only have uh, two boxes of Gypsy. So the price is uh, scooted, scooted up. I do a lot of, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what do I call it? I do a lot of uh, set products with the hitters. So Target Field, yes, yes, yes. We do know uh, I have a, uh, my uh, wife's uh, family member lives near that area. And all the whole family's from that area. So that's one thing we have to hit up uh, Minnesota, which I will. I still need to see it. I, I need to go up to uh, Vancouver and uh, British Columbia, too. That's another bucket list. So, yeah, yeah. We do need uh, – it needs to be updated. I think they can update that. It's only from uh, – how old is the D-backs? They can be updated. So, I don't think they need a new stadium. I mean, they put so much money down there, and there's so much parking and good stuff downtown. Downtown Phoenix is not that bad. I actually don't mind going it um, compared to some downtowns right now. There's not as many homeless. There's not as many, you know, like the traffic's decent. So I can say uh, if you guys don't want to doubt, go down, down, like you drive, you can take the, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, the light rail. So, I mean, there's also other ways. Whenever I went to ASU, I usually uh, park and road to the, uh, the Sun Devil Stadium whenever I had tickets. So yeah, 98. So yeah, that's not too old. I mean, it's about 20, 22 years now, so. I think it just needs to be renovated. They need to take it pretty much the frames out pretty much and just redo the, uh, take out the seats, you know. It's doable, I think, especially only that. Uh, I don't think it needs to be, like, demolished. It's way, that's what people are saying. I think it needs a new roof. The whole outside needs to be stripped down, new seats. I mean, it might be cheaper to just tear the whole thing down and restart over, so I don't know. It just depends on uh, construction, but I still think they should stay downtown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's uh the problem is I, I how does that hold up? I mean, it looks like it's working pretty well because they roll it out. I was just there for the uh, what do you call it the D backs uh, fan fest. I did a lot of stuff for baseball this year already, but um, uh, D backs fan fest they had it all opened up. It was beautiful still. So they uh they took good care of the place even though it's a little bit dated. Uh, but the heat and the rain, the monsoon, it was getting bad where uh the water's just flying through now. Uh, during monsoon during the summer, all of a sudden you see guys sitting there. And they're just like rain coming down behind home plate, <laughs> even with the uh, even with the roof all closed up. So yeah, it definitely needs a new roof. It needs a uh, it needs a couple of uh you know facilities be definitely updated. But yeah, I like its location. I don't think they want to try to move it into a Scottsdale area. I mean, I don't care. I would I I, I go to Scottsdale more for a fall league. I go to Peoria. These guys where the Braves were at and stuff, and the Mariners and uh, Padres. But um. Yeah, my two main parks are Salt River, uh, Scottsdale Giants, uh, Old Town, Scottsdale, and uh, Peoria. Those are my favorite uh, parks around here. Uh, Maryville's not bad either. It's just a kind of sketchy area. I don't really care that much, though. But um, we got John Lester color match. What's up with the Cubbies color match in this box? Uh, there's a 32 out of 150, John Lester. Yeah, it'd be interesting uh, to see what the D-backs do. They've been asking the city of Phoenix for some money for uh, repairs for a long time now. Uh, AJ Puck, rookie. Check the backs of these for any uh, bazookas. Uh, Bryce Harper, Basin back. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. 
see what happens this year with baseball too. I haven't really heard much lately. I just saw that they were, they were trying to do testing for antibodies to get uh kind of baseball started a little bit so they can kind of find a vaccine, kind of. Not a bad thing for everyone. Glendale? I don't want that. No. No. Why would you do that? <laughs> Horrible. Horrible. That's already a bottleneck. That's far from me, dude. That's that for all. That's stupid. Like as a a business person in the city of Phoenix, if you guys look, most of the money is actually over by Scottsdale, Mesa, Chandler, uh, Phoenix, up by us, and they're putting everything. It's just because it's cheaper for um, what do you call it? Uh, building over there. That's why they want to build it. I get it. That's why the race car tracks over there. Um, the big uh, concert pavilions are over there. It's just cheaper compared to you know. But I just think it's stupid because it's 45 minutes. That's 45 minutes. 45 minutes. I don't want to drive 45 minutes to a baseball game every day with traffic. And I hate uh, going to Dodger Stadium sometimes uh, where the Dodgers play because it's atrocious with traffic sometimes. If you go too late, too, you're uh, in traffic for about an hour. So that's one thing. And now I hope not. I hope not. You guys know this area. So I hope not. I hope it's in its central located area. I'm only 15 minutes from Chase right now in the sun. So that's optimal. I can go at any, you know, snap, you know, so not exactly, exactly, but you know, you know, I see why they're doing it, but as a business, like, uh, they're trying to move the Coyotes into Tempe or Scottsdale, so, or the Arcadia area, uh, because most of their ticket holders are on East Valley, which is, it is 45 minutes, so with traffic, it's even more, it's about an hour, hour and a half sometimes, so, uh, uh, seven o'clock game, it's going to take us people and, you know, over here, probably about an hour, hour and a half some days, so. Yeah, I don't know about that. We'll see. I think it's going to stay downtown, though. I think uh, they'll probably just renovate it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It'll be interesting. I hope they stay downtown because right now I'm 15, literally 15 minutes away. <laughs> so, 15. That's pretty crazy. 15 minutes away from a um, national you know, league ballpark. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's far, man. That's far. I used to go to, uh, I went to the U of A Festival when I uh, worked, uh, lived and worked down there. Um, I went to U of A, uh, the Glendale, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, it's far, man. I drove back and then went and partied for uh, New Year's one year. We got a uh, Zach Davies, a swap. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty, it's a pretty good, uh, you know, especially if you live further. It's even, um, you know, if you live by Marana or I lived off the, um, oh, I lived off a uh, Grant. So it wasn't that far, but if you have to go all the way to the southeast to Tucson too, you're adding on another half hour. So yeah, it's a little bit, it's almost like a three hour drive. <laughs> so especially if you're stuck, we actually got stuck. So what we did, me and my buddy, we actually just parked in the uh, parking lot because we were in the main parking lot at the uh, Fiesta Bowl. Uh, it was Boise State versus US, U of A. So it was a top game. It was like a top 15 game. Uh, Fiesta Bowl, of course, always is, but um so what we did is we just got out and they're like, hey guys, want a beer? <laughs> so we just sat out and had a beer with these guys, waited a half hour and just shot the crap. So yeah, so you're good. That's not as far. Miranda, when you get there, you're pretty much in Tucson, but you guys have a little. We got a Michael Bias. There you go. Uh, 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 Padres. There you go. Padres. Piles. Padres. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, like I said, I, I lived off, Um, I worked on Prince in uh, I-10 pretty much right there. Prince in I-10. I worked for a uh, company there. And then I lived on uh, Country Club and... Uh, around the middle of Tucson, so by the U of A. Used to have a bar that I uh, used to walk to and watch games at and stuff. It was really fun for a bit, you know. So I was central Tucson. It sucked. You guys don't have any. Um, you guys are lucky because you're off the freeway, I'm sure, north. But, um, you know, you know the middle of Tucson, there's no central road where Tanga Verde and Grant is. You pretty much just had to ride Grant all the way through Tucson, so... It was really hard, especially when I was dating my wife and stuff. It was like, yeah, I'll see you in about 45 minutes. <laughs> and she's only like a couple miles away. It's just because it's like your brakes would go from, you know, I would have to drive to work. I was only like five miles away. I'd be laughing. I was like, dude, I can ride my bike quicker to work with all the uh, traffic lights here. My, uh, like I said, I, uh, I lived probably about, yeah, about four or five miles from work. And it would take me still about 20 minutes, 25 something in the morning. The T uh, TPD had like a uh, torch run one morning. I was like an hour late to work <laughs> and working for the military companies. They all have, you guys know you're in the military. Some of you guys, they have it where they have the buzzer. And if you're more than seven minutes late, they have a point program. Like exactly. It was all ran by ex military guys. So yeah. So you know exactly what I'm talking about. So I was, I lived in the center of uh, Tucson and I pretty much worked on the I 10 and Prince location. So it was, uh, the TPD was around there, their uh, central location over there. So whenever they did the torch run, 
I would always get stuck in that and lose like my points because you get a certain like twelve points per year for uh for company. So it's kind of funny. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't allow me to at least like lose those points, you know, especially for something like that, because they barricaded the roads in the morning. It was the uh, Special Olympics torch run that I would always get stuck in in Tucson. Constantly, every year. Constantly. Even when I put it on the calendar, I would still get stuck in that thing. Because they started at the same time we did at like 7, and we had the bell go off at 7, just like, you know. <laughs> uh, good times, good times. I liked it, though, because when I worked in Tucson, I had every other Friday off. They had I was like Raytheon hours. If you guys know Raytheon, we copied their hours because we did contracts for Raytheon and General Dynamics. So every other Friday, I'd dip out and come to Phoenix for uh, three days and, you know, go to some uh, chase games and, you know, spring training. So it was really fun. Really cool. Uh, long days, so we'd work like uh, 10 days, uh, 10 hours a day. We'd still have to get stuff done coming on Saturdays and stuff we had to. I like Tucson. I go to Tucson probably two to three times a year when uh, when madness isn't happening. <laughs> we got the Padres. Was that Tyrone? You did get your Padres. There you go. First uh, hit. Like shooting the crap. Talking about uh, some places. I, I'm glad I kind of lived in different areas. I've lived in three different areas now. We got a rookie card. That's uh, uh, Randy, right? Nah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ra Ravello for the uh, Rangers nameplate. Yeah. That was funny. It was always funny when we did have to work Fridays. Man, it was like vacation mode. People are like, I just want to clean and just get out of here because we're not used to working Fridays. It would be a shorter day on Fridays. It would be like eight-hour days. Regimental, though. Super regimental. Which is a good thing. I like a regiment. Uh, here we go. We got Tarot. I've never seen Tarot flipped. That means it's a number more than likely. Anthony K. Here we go. We got Tarot flipped. It looks like a number. I've not seen any of these autographed. Yeah, it's a nice uh, uh, Syndergaard. 176 out of 250. There we go. Thor. So I had to kick it back a little bit. YouTube's a little bit more laggy than, uh, what do you call it, Instagram today? Or uh, Facebook. So I got too many uh, things. I got TikTok. I got way too many. <laughs> too many things, though. All right. Is that Gallon? If you're uh, sleeping on him, you shouldn't. Where he uh, sleeves up his. Let's see. Uh, Thor. A lot of blue. We got a blue box. We'll do all of the Inception last, as we always do. I'll do a uh, divisional tomorrow, about three to four divisionals. Isn't that cool? I like that. That's pretty sick. Color match to boot. And we'll check for bazookas, too, like I said. That's why I, I brought in 18. Uh, Andhar's in there. It's a pretty good uh, year overall. I think Clint Frazier's Andhar. Uh, Walker Bueller. Uh, Albies. Uh, Day Young is in 17s, I think, right? And uh, just uh, throwbacks. I'm just bringing in some throwbacks, so. Nice, 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 nice. I like, uh, I like him. I, I've always wanted one of uh, the two, either Degrom or to go onto the dark side of the New York, you know, <laughs> the New York rivalry. I mean, who doesn't want that kind of a pitcher? I, uh, you know, it's hard to find good pitching. I feel like I'm still doing Ginther. I'm feeling all the minis falling. There's some good minis. Like I said, we got some Hall of Fame minis. Those are worth some money. Can't wait to do some more Ginther over the next. I love going to the parks. Uh, we'll see. Do you guys think they're going to change the way they interact with fans now after this whole COVID situation? Some guys already, you know, don't really do much of fans. Some guys are weird. So I think that's going to uh, maybe more pre-sign stuff or using their own pens maybe. <laughs> maybe the change. What do you guys think going forward? Speaking of, you know, that. Because I do a lot of it for my nonprofit. Just, you know, meeting the guys for myself. I collect my in-person autographs for my own PC. I went and got a Julio couple autographs. So... That's pretty cool, man. Like I said, I love meeting these guys. Alec Baum, I met about five times. Um, Seth Beer, tell, tell, uh, Royce Lewis. I just actually saw my ball that Royce Lewis signed for me. Vidal Bruhan, Bruhans uh, threw to me. And then uh, Royce Lewis signed for me after the game. Herrera Encarnacion uh, signed, finished off my team ball. That's so cool. I uh, Like I said, I just wonder what it's going to do, though. What is it going to do, this whole thing? I already saw, like I said, we'll see. See, uh, Fall League might still happen this year at this rate. Uh, if we get back to normal, just no fans, be all streamed. Uh, Brandon McKay, you'll see guys still lining up at the ballpark, still uh, trying to beg for autographs, because they usually do that anyway. Uh, especially at uh, Mesa, you can go down at Mesa and uh, sit where the players walk out, and they do sign for uh, some kind of fans. So if you guys are ever in the Mesa area, if you uh, go to a Fall League game, it's fun anyway. So uh, you can get in for uh, a couple bucks. 
think it's like seven, eight bucks. Nice. Yeah, I, I just love baseball. We got a uh, Paul Day Young. Let's look, look how sick this card is. Almost looking like a special edition. Cool card, though. I love the Day Young cards. He's actually one of my uh, PCs that I kind of low key when it rakes. He was one of the best guys in, uh, what do you call it, spring training. So we should have one more hit. Gavin Lux to end it out. Bazooka? Nope. Regular. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. I uh, I thought it was a cool uh, fall league this year. It was amazing. Like I said, I met uh, Pache the year before. And then uh, who was the other couple guys? Uh, Floriel. Very nice. All signed for me. Said hi. And uh, this year, like I said, it was uh, awesome. Rice Lewis signed many times. Uh, last game I was at, uh, Victor Victor Mesa threw a ball at me. The guy next to me got it. I didn't even try far. I was like, whoa, it's cool. Vidal Bruhan threw me a ball last time I was at a game. Got it. Like I said, signed for uh, Royce Lewis. Uh, Julio came over for me every time. I was so surprised because he dogged people. He was just like, yeah, I'm good. Every single time. Say, what's up, Julio? And then he would come over and talk. So imagine that. Top 25 prospects. So, like I said, it's so cool. Uh, it's a little bit harder at spring training, but I can say the last ever, the last ever, it's like one of the last ever Padres spring training game, Tatis came over and signed for us, so, heck yeah, dude, it's so much fun, I'm there anyway, so just, uh, you'll see my videos, just come in, uh, sit down, you'll see, I'm the only guy there, pretty much, I go with my buddy Robert, Robert's one of our administrators here, he's been a friend of mine for about five years now, so, we got longtime friends here that we've been going to games for a while. We pretty much got a, 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 a game click. So I do get a lot of free tickets, too. I'll be doing some giveaways for Fall League tickets because I do have some hookups. I went to a lot of games last year, um, sponsored pretty much. So um, it's only going to get better, too, once I start um, getting to know people. So it's really small, intimate. You can actually talk to the owners of the teams. So someday, you know, someone's going to be like, hey, man, you know. Because there's not really not many people doing this. I sat a guy next to a girl from The Athletic. She was doing a story. Um, it's just really cool to be that close. Force Whitley was doing uh, uh, prospecting slash uh, paperwork next to us. Um, Hunter Green's next to us. So it's, it's really cool. Cool experience. If anyone hasn't done Fall League, yeah, like I said, that's uh, why I'm wearing this. This is a throwback to uh, Mr. Uh, Acuna. Wore this hat for the Peoria. A lot of big players. Pache. A lot of big guys. Uh, but Dante Pachette. There you go. Trying to get Bazooka. No Bazooka yet. Got uh, all the big rookies coming. But, yeah, if you guys haven't yet, take advantage of baseball in Arizona. You got U of A, ASU. If you're not at High Corbett. Uh, I don't, yeah, I have it for our nonprofit. A bully suck. I want to come up with a new, um, uh, we're coming up with an alternative logo, like mats and stickers. That's the next thing I'm working on. I am going to start doing some more merch eventually. I want to do uh, the nonprofit slash once we get some business partners, we're going to start uh, partnering with some businesses, have them start putting their logo on the back or something too. Um, I have, I do have a, uh, a, uh, a uh, t-shirt maker here, Twisted Merch, I think they're called, right next to me in uh, Phoenix. I try to support local businesses, so uh, we already do have a uh, local business that we uh, do shirts for through. I just need more so the designs and uh, then we'll go forward, so that's kind of where we're at right now. Kind of one step at a time. Heck Yeah. I love Dante. That's why I've been collecting him since uh, 2016, Mr. Uh, Bo. You know, the tutelage that he had. Dante was one of my favorite players. Him, Sheffield, you know, it's that crew. That was just a hardcore crew back in the day. It's uh, old school baseball right there. Hi, Corbett. Heck yeah, man. So, uh, I took uh, Anna's uh, U of A alumni, obviously my wife, but... Uh, I went to probably about five to six games there. If you guys are not at High Corbett, I'm really disappointed with you in Tucson. <laughs> I took advantage of baseball down there. It was only like, it's so cheap to go to games. So cheap. And it's so cool. So, so cool. Yeah. Dante was one of my favorites. Dante actually did stuff around my town. He was actually, I think the, um, it was either, yeah, Dante. Dante was the coach of uh, the Berkshire, the Pittsfield team, I think. I think he lived in my area for a little bit. Because he was like a Red Sox. Wasn't he a Red Sox for a little bit? Or he was like on, he was in Mass. I very much remember he was in one of those players. It was either Dante or someone similar like that. Who was the other guy? I'm trying to think. You gotta look up who was the coach of the Pittsfield Colonials. If you look that up, it was one of the guys like that. I don't know if it was Dante. Similar in um, career, kind of, you know. I'll have to look it up. I'll tell you guys next time. Pittsfield Colonials. We had a uh, pro, kind of am, pro am, kind of, you know. It was a, uh, was it, it wasn't the shit, was it? I can't remember. 
It was either Bichette, like I said, someone very close to it. I'll have to look it up before this is over. It's going to drive me nuts. But we had the Pittsfield Mets, the NY Penn, uh, Penn League there. I grew up with some fun stuff. It was a really fun uh, time growing up, so really fun time. Sorry, I'm going to get rid of some of these. We had a fun time growing up. That's all I know. A lot of uh, a lot of baseball uh, players that I met. met Jeff Blum without uh, knowing it. It's pretty cool. So I probably met some other guys that didn't even realize it. Especially they went through, everyone goes through uh, NY, uh, New York Penn League. I got to look that up, who it was. I think it was uh, Dante, though. I think he had a stop here as a coach for a little bit in Pittsfield. But I could be wrong. I thought it was someone like that. It was someone lesser. I was like, he's not a Hall of Famer, but he was a very good player. You know, those kind of guys. I think Gary Sam Sheffield will ever get in. It's the guys that did, uh, I don't know. Some of these guys are getting in or now, like Tim Raines. Like, one of my favorite was God, shit, Gary Sheffield. Just that bat. Him and Vladdy. I still have one of my favorite uh, triple game news. It's like Manny, Vlad, and Sheffield. All in one. Manny Ramirez. That was just that was just 90s baseball, you know. The 2000 baseball. All right. We should get one more autograph. Let's see. We, uh, something coming up. Could have a, a white swap autograph coming up. Saw something. Let's go. Good luck, guys. Got one more box to go with Gypsy, and then we'll get into the Inception. Let's go. We have a uh, Contreras. Let's go with our swap. Here it is. It is a white swap autograph, I think. I already saw the white on the other side. So here's our second autograph. It's a good one. We're talking about U of A. Look at that. In the air. High Corbett, really. And a uh, Kevin Newman. There you go. Hot dog. That is spooky. Spooky, you guys talking about and put it in the air. <laughs> there you go. U of A. We're talking about High Corbett. He. Uh, that's where I saw him play. Kevin Newman, Willie Calhoun. Uh, who else was on that team? Nasty. That team was nasty. It was Willie Calhoun, Kevin Newman, uh, Scott Kingery, Bobby Delbeck. Four, uh, four big, uh, prospects. Uh, I saw uh, Kai Corbett. That was a team that was in Tucson when I was living there. Pretty damn nasty. <laughs> and then whoever else the Pac-12 had during that time. They had a ton of players. Madrigal and, uh, a couple other guys that were kind of, I gotta look at the 2015. But yeah, that's uh, that's funny right there. High Corbett. <laughs> I'm loving about that. Got a High Corbett guy right there. There you go. The, the world. That's the world right there lining up. You guys like that? Isn't that funny? Isn't that fun? Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny? High Corbett. And there you go. Uh, Alex Young. I got to uh, give some props to him. He saved my fantasy league last year. Christian Yelich. Isn't that funny? Bear down. Bear down, Arizona. Bear down. You're there. Uh, we got there. It's a white swap. It's a uh, Eloy. There you go. Jimenez out of 50. There you go. Nice hit. 24. Is he 20? What's his number? There's 24 out of uh, 50 either way. Color match. And check the back on these guys. And we'll uh, look at the other box. Like I said, I love Gypsy. I already got a stack of cards from this. Gives a little bit of uh, appetizer to the Inception because Inception is an uh, all-out hit. So... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. I love uh, Tucson. Tucson and uh, Phoenix are the biggest party towns for college. I uh, I used to, I uh, I used to go to uh, downtown all the time in Tucson. Especially I was uh, when I lived in Tucson, I was like 26, 27, so it was prime time. Fit in perfectly down there. The age downtown is pretty much what 20 to 40, pretty much on average. So man, I got it was so much fun. Fourth Avenue in Tucson. Oof. <laughs> anyone probably like uh, knows mill avenue i haven't really i was too uh i was ready uh like i said uh a little older but still i go down to uh the dinners and stuff we go out from time to time out here nightlife in arizona the food anyone ever goes for vacation come out here it's baseball sports we got the super bowl coming when's the super bowl coming here 2022 23 i'm gonna do a special show for that like literally a show like have a uh you know parking you know somewhere uh have it and uh you know there you go. That's Cody, right? Check it out. New guys. New guys coming in and getting some hits. I'm going to call you guys out in a second. So this is Fast and Furious. It's kind of just shooting the crap. And... <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh... No, it is. Fourth Avenue. I love the, how they had the four different places where you could just bar hop. You can go to the country. Uh, you know, all that stuff. So shout out to my local businesses. You guys took care of me when I was in Tucson, Phoenix. You guys do a good job. Uh, local Arizona. I can say the bars and the entertainment we have out here is by far some of the funnest places I've ever gone, aside from Vegas and, you know, other places. 
Here we go. We got a uh, couple of other hits coming. We got a gold and a blue. A Mookie Betts match. Last ever Red Sox card set you're uh, seeing. So you guys see it. The, the Pirates should never sit. I actually, uh, Michael, I hooked you up, dude. <laughs> or uh, whoever gets the Pirates. I, uh, I, I priced out that Ginter wrong. I forgot that Bell is in. Uh, they should have been way higher. I was like, man, there you go. Nice, nice. Really? Are you kidding me? Or are you messing with me? I was probably, uh, I forgot which one. There's a couple of them. Uh, was it the wreck or uh, the shipwreck? What is it called? The wreck. Uh, 48 out of 50. Man, that was my funnest. I used to get crap from my buddies all the time. Because I was like, come on, dude. Go to the country bar with me. Because I'd roll with like five of my uh, friends from work. We'd all, you know, meet each other. Or, you know, get one car and go all together down. Or out taxi. We'd all taxi down and meet each other at one bar. We'd either, we'd go to the shanty a lot. They like the shanty. And a couple other ones. I forgot which of the other ones. Really fun. <laughs> Shout out to those uh, businesses, like I said. You guys, uh, what? Yeah! I, uh, I supported the business, so thank you guys for uh, letting me uh, let loose and have fun there a couple times. <laughs> the, yeah, 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 the wreck. I had a lot of fun there. That was when I was there. You guys, uh, I, I bounced there and then go over to the rap R&B side. What was that called? I can't remember. Best of both worlds. I was like, come on, guys, you gotta go over. It's a lot of fun, and so I brought my uh, my whole gang over, and they come over. I like the, um, because they had uh, can cans. Yeah, it was awesome. It had the Coyote Ugly feel, where the girls would stop. They'd cut off drinks. Uh, no drink, you know, no serving, and they, the girls would dance on the bar for about, you know, two minutes. That was awesome. Yeah. Shout out. I had a lot of fun in Tucson. That and the shanty, if you want to change the pace, we'd go play pool over there and just kind of lay low. It was a, a lot of fun. What's the other place we went to? I can't remember. There's two to three bars that we used to go into. But yeah, it was a, it was a really fun time. The warehouse, yeah. I can't remember. There was one that was really... Uh, the playground. The playground I used to go to a lot, too. That was across the street. A couple of block downs, you know. Maloney's. The Maloney's was a lot of fun. Yep. Maloney's. So uh, the playground. Is the playground still there? The playground was a lot of fun. You go on, I used to go on the roof in the playground. They had, like, a higher up. Uh, I used to, uh, my, my bar was uh, Danny's up on uh, Country Club. It was, like, a dive bar. I loved uh, They had U of A games. O'Malley's and Malley. Yep, exactly, both of those. I was, or, no, what's the other one? The Tiki Place? And then everyone went to Con Tiki on uh, Speedway? Or was it Broadway, one of the two? Yeah. Flashbacks. All right. Trying to think of local places that are really cool here. We got some cool places. I got a uh, Irish bar. A couple of cool places by me. Um, North, uh, Old Town. I love Old Town a lot. We go down there once in a while. We went to the Barrio Queen and had some tacos and beer after uh, uh, a uh, game not that long ago. So we went to a Fall League game and then hit up uh, food. So it's uh, pretty much food everywhere. I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna Like I said, the hot. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they, uh. No, I'm still there. I'm still. I'm sure they're doing pretty well still. All those places. Uh, U of A's definitely grown pretty well. ASU I saw is up on. Uh, they're one of the biggest colleges still. Uh, I want to see my boy. Uh, there's another gallon. I want to see my boy Torkelson go top. We got a Buxton on uh, uh, 35 out of 50 for the Twins. I'll call you guys out. Who we got in a second. Got a couple of McKay uh, rookie cards already. Bubba Starling. Check out the backs of these. We should get a bazooka somewhere. Let's try to get one out of these two. Josh Bell. So I might see something. Let's see. Something? No? No? That's why I want to do the 2018. Imagine the Otani or a uh, uh, Miguel of Andahar. I forget who else is in there. I think Bueller's in that set. I can't forget. I, I got to look at the whole checklist. I'm going to uh, price that out for early next week. It's going to be a half case of... Uh, Inception with a Gypsy 18 and a uh, 19 Tier 1, just to add a couple hits in. A little bit different, my last Tier 1, so. I think we got some nice hits out of that before, and shot at, like, Koufax, and I like bringing in some of the old guys. All right, Buxton out of 50, we got another black and white. Starting to run out of Gypsy, it's in LA. I, uh, we ran out of it here, they said. So, see what we got. I'm going to try to uh, run some 18 uh, Gypsy, though, just because it's pretty good, too. Got some Hoskins and uh, Otani, Frazier, and uh, a couple other big guys, guys that I collected. So, Ugh. Can't open this. <laughs> uh, I got that basketball pretty much. I'm uh, going to slow down in baseball for the next day or two. I'm just going to do divisionals here and there and uh, 
get some of the other breaks going. We're going to do more basketball and football for the next couple days. Baseball still filling. we got a bunch of baseball up. I'll do a couple of divisionals here and there, but uh, I'm going to kind of just let these other breaks fill and uh, get our other sports kind of rolling. Going to see what we got for football. we got the NFL draft on Thursday. I'm pumped as a Bucks fan, finally. Um, you're saying there's a chance, and there we go. A numbered Otani. It's a big-time card. Uh, that is out of uh, 51 out of 250. I'll get top-loaded. We've got the Angels today. There we go. So we're getting to the hits. These are all the uh, appetizer, uh, smaller uh, hits and base cards, which you could get a big-time uh, autograph. You never know. It's a big-time uh, gypsy. Hit, what, two bow autographs already? I've been seeing bows pretty uh, pulled a lot in this. I've been seeing a lot of bows. One guy said that he got about three bows already. Here we go. We got an autograph. Yeah, jeets. Here we go. We have a hey, hey, Corey Dickerson been hanging out. Is that a Philadelphia Phils? We've been pulling a bunch of Corey. I've been seeing a lot of Corey. Here we go, Corey for the Phils. Got him in the Rockies, his rookie card. He's been a Ray, a Rocky. There you go, Corey. We got a uh, Otani Blue. 18, I love it. Isn't that beautiful, that 18 Gypsy? I did so many cases of that. That was one of our first products that we started really rolling here uh, with the Ginter uh, 17. So I'm bringing in some favorites that we kind of started in high tech. High tech is so cool. I still love high tech just because it grades well, the opportunity of chances of hits. We pulled some uh, big time hits out of um, some uh, Bowman high tech, some Topps high tech. So. It's uh, just a shot at monster, monsters, 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 absolute monsters. Did Mike get a hit? Fine. Uh, who got a? Who got the? Let's see. Uh, let me call out what you guys got right now. Let's do a quick little once over. Uh, the Padres was uh, Tyrone. I saw a bunch of Ty, uh, the Cubs is Tyrone. The Royals is uh, and the Rays is Michael. Those are all the uh, teams that you don't know from the uh, what do you call it? Pick your team. This is a pick your team. So you guys should know who you have. Let's see. Let me uh, pull it up. Woo! I have it on. Thing. My uh, screen just kind of minimized accidentally. All right, the Phillies. There you go, uh, Pete. Uh, we had uh, Cody with the Pirates, Cody E. Uh, let's see who else. Who was the other hits that we had to uh, look up? All the rookies are hits, too. Uh, the, the Dodgers today was Jonathan. Uh, we got Jason with the Angels with the Atani. Uh, the Rockies was Anthony. Uh, we got Ken with the Indians. Saw a bunch of Indians. Uh, White Sox was Joshua. I saw a... Uh, uh, Robert, uh, Kevin with the Braves. Mike, I saw a bunch of D backs, so cool stuff. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see who falls um, and who's going to get love and who's not going to get love because they're not doing any pro days. We didn't have a, we didn't have any pro camps. Isn't that weird? It's the first ever. Is this the first ever time? How many years? When's the last time we've not had? I'm sure there was a time where they didn't have, but was there ever? Or because this is the first time that it's been. Um, you know, no combine because this is the time you can kind of get better um, draft position. I've seen some guys tank, some guys go up about you know five, ten positions or even like five, ten rounds. You know, <laughs> with the seven, you know, they literally fall out of the seven rounds, so they fall from like seven, uh, two to five, or you know, so it's going to be interesting to see who rises and falls off of videos. Can you, um, yeah, it's going to be uh, who do the Broncos need? Who do you guys need? I know my Bucks need some online or offensive line help. We need some safety help. Um, we could use a, probably a linebacker, the hardy positions that, you know, that smash. Judy, uh, yeah, Judy is really good. He's a possession quad receiver, though, isn't he? There's another guy who's a speedster in a slot. So my Bucks are set with uh, the guys, so. It's a cool set. I'm going to do a break with that, so. Uh, I'm going to do a break with that. I'm going to do a break from the new draft picks um, and then mix in with some of the newer. We'll do like a three box for uh, the draft, keep it down a little bit. So plan on that. We're going to do a draft picks slash. That way I uh, will wait to ship it. So whoever they go to, say Judy goes to the Giants or goes to the Jaguars or I'm trying to think of, you know, <laughs> uh, someone you could go to Jets or someone, you know, the Redskins. Uh, Redskins, I think, might get Tua. So we'll see. Uh, we'll pretty much do it that way. We'll try to break it on the uh, first round uh, announcements, how we do it. We got Pete Alonso. That way we do some more football. We're going to crank up football as always. I already got allocations coming for every football now. I'm at least getting a quarter to a half a case going forward of football. So it's pretty much what we do here, about half case. We'll start doing case breaks of the salt Mauler products until we uh, get big with football. We uh, do all pretty much uh, baseball case breaks right now. 
So I, I think we can switch over to the football, which we did. At one point, I was doing way more football than baseball. So, yeah, we have a lot of football guys here, including myself. Pretty much every, like, defensive position is a need, though. Even if you are set, just with depth. I mean, it takes one tweak, you know, with the how long the season. The seasons are going to be 17 games soon, so you're going to need a lot more depth for uh, defense and uh, trenches soon. So that's what I see coming soon. Whoever uh, teams are that more depth, you guys see that the Saints do really well, the Vikings do really well, the Patriots do really well because of that reason with their depth. It's a really depth game. Been, uh, yeah, the Patriots are really the biggest one that show that. But the, uh, the Eagles one went depth not that long ago. So uh, it's a long season. That's a grind. Grind. Especially adding another game now. So when, when does that start? Another game? Another year or two, right? So, but that that's big. Adding another game is big. I mean, this thing. So instead of the bye week for the playoff teams, they're going to pretty much take week 17 off. But some teams that need to play will have to play all the way. You know, that's a long season. <laughs> Getting smoked in the uh, thighs and, oh, man, I saw some of the guys, these guys got hit. Man, I don't even know how they walk after some of these hits. 250, 265 pound guy just clips your freaking ankle or, uh, man, I don't envy them. Them are hockey players, I really don't. My dad played semi-pro hockey for years. He's like, man, it's the most uh, brutal thing he's ever done. Same thing. Just, like, just throwing your body. John Lynch is one of my favorite players, but I'm sure his whole neck and his whole head. Oh, man, I can't even imagine. So they're covering, like, at the uh, the dark side of the ring with wrestling, how everyone was using, like, flying headbutts and stuff. Like, Harley Race was like, man, don't do it, man. And they still did it. <laughs> He's like, I, uh, I had neck and uh, head problems for uh, years, you know. I can just imagine those guys, man. The linebackers, that's what I'm thinking. Middle linebacker, you definitely need, I think everyone needs linebacking, uh, uh, depth. Those guys, they uh, get stingers in their shoulders, their head. They're always leading with the crown. Oh, so brutal, man. Who is the kid? Uh, Kuki? Kuchi? Uh, Kukli? Kukli? Forgot his name for the uh, Panthers. Luke. Lukey. Uh, what's is that his name? Uh, it's just sad. You saw him. He uh, he retired at 28 or whatever. How old or old? Remember, uh, who was the other? Taylor? Some of the guys. Just coming up the middle. Allstat was another one. Yeah, it's coming up the middle, just rolling people over. Last game I was at, I went to 2007 or 2006. My dad has a place uh, a little bit in uh, around the Orlando area sometimes. He uh, he rents it out. And uh, we went. I was like, hey, I want to go to Tampa and see uh, Allstat before he retires. And all the guys, you know, Rondé Barber. And, uh, man, he ran over someone. You could hear smash. The smash, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. You could just hear the smash of the helmet of him running over. I'm sure it's still on his montage. A redskin guy just went under the safety. Tried to, uh, you know, go down on his legs, but Allstop just lowered his head. Smoked him, helmet to helmet. <laughs> just ran him over and just kept going. <laughs> Another 10 yards, 10, 15 yards. Oh, man. Just imagine that, though. Oh, 260 pound, 250 pound monsters. Lawrence Taylor was the originator of that, wasn't he? Joe Theismann knows. Man, that roll up was one of the most brutal things in history. Oh. Oh, oh, yeah. So, yeah, everyone needs, uh, speaking of that, yeah, so that's why you need middle linebacker help, no matter if you do have some of the best linebackers, because those guys need to take a couple plays off after seeing uh, Tweety Birds around their heads for a little bit. I love Quan Alexander. He's gone now. He was one that was uh, laying lumber for a while for Tampa. Uh, Levante David's one of my favorite. So, it's just, yeah. <laughs> Man, sacrifices. I don't envy middle linebackers at all. Or uh, fullback and running backs having to block. Man, I would not want to be a uh, work done. You guys remember work done in the backfield for the Falcons and the Bucks? I remember when he would have to line up and clip the guy. Man, he would just be completely wiped out. <laughs> Trent Dilfer would be on whoever was the quarterback. Be on his back. <laughs> Gone are the undersized. I haven't seen many undersized uh, running backs. For uh, football lately, it's big in college, but not in the NFL. Not a lot of undersized uh, uh, running backs in the NFL. Remember that time when their uh, running backs were kind of undersized for a while? It's big in, uh, in uh, NCAA because uh, they just go on the conditioning pretty much. Uh, there we go. We have a J.D. Davis. Nice Mets. Um, yeah, pretty much NCAA is all conditioning. It's uh, you know option after option. You're just wearing out the defense. It's playing in the heat in Arizona. That's what they're really going for. 
as many plays and calls as they can. Hurry up offenses are really big. It's kind of just playing hoops pretty much for a lot of the big guys. They're just pretty much just uh, going down. We got that Babe Ruth short print for uh, the Yankees. It's pretty much how I saw the air raid offense, especially if you watch Pac-12 uh, football. It's literally just like basketball. They're just literally like, doot, doot, you know, because they're all they're all six foot five. I think SEC is more uh, what uh, options and uh, hard notes, right? I, uh, I I want like watching football, just different kind of styles of football. Pac-12 is definitely uh, more uh, flashy and uh, spread out. ASU uses a lot of smaller running backs, kind of a uh, bunch formations. Weird, they use the fork formation. Wildcats, uh, they use the actual wildcat, the the speedy handoff, the options. Uh, they have to, they had what's his name, Khalil Tate. He can take the ball and run it, or you just throw it. So just wearing you out. You'd be uh. Your hands on your knees by the uh, second quarter. So uh, Mahomes and the uh, Texas Tech Red Raiders for a while. They're fun to watch. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Kingsbury and uh, Mahomes. I watched them against ASU. They put up a pretty good game. I'm excited for uh, college football as well. Uh, that's that ASU got the top uh, basketball prospect. So we got one more autograph should be coming, right? Lost count. They've been in the last couple packs. It's been kind of packed the same. We got Inception coming up next. Uh, throw up a couple divisionals tomorrow. Uh, they'll be up uh, earlier in the afternoon to fill pretty quickly. So there'll be Gypsy Queen, Ginter, and uh, what was the other thing I said I was going to do? Uh, we'll do a, a pro debut since I got a bunch of pro debuts. So there you go. How is their style of football? I haven't. Um, is there more pa pocket? It's just I love Pac-12 football for the uh, the pace. The pace is, oh, man, it's so. I love the pace of Pac-12 football. Pac-12 football is the pace is uh you can't match it <laughs> you cannot match the pace. Uh, here we go we got an autograph it's a uh, top name from uh, the rookie card class oh, it is I saw it real quick. Here we go we got all of our hits in this one. Uh, it's a Bobby Bradley love this guy he's one of my PCs 35 home runs last year for uh, minor leagues don't sleep on Bobby Bradley. There you go uh, Indians. But yeah no it's uh it's gonna be an interesting. Uh, when when's football coming back? That's the, that's the main biggest thing. Football is the only thing uh, really lined up to come back on time, compared to uh, everything. They're uh, doing the draft on Thursday, so it's all going to be. It's going to be weird seeing Goodell doing the calls from his living room, <laughs> wherever he's at. He's not going to get booed. We're going to have to boo him from home. Maybe we'll do that. We'll be live doing our break whenever he does a draft pick. Uh, you guys can uh, do the virtual boos too. We have to give it to him. <laughs> this is the only year. This will be the first year in history where Roger Goodell does not get booed. So, we got history, gentlemen, <laughs> and uh, ladies and gentlemen. We got Justin Dunn. We got uh, Gary Sanchez. Let's check the backs. Uh, Nico Horner. Nico's been kind of rare. He's either really, really abundant or he's really rare. I've been seeing the Nikos. We opened up about three, four cases of this already. So, kind of already seen a bunch of this. Uh, all the uh, hits are uh, flipped too. So, really easy to break. Uh, we're done with that one. Uh, Austin Hayes. Austin Hayes was, what, 18 or 19? So Austin Hayes, 18. I can't remember Austin Hayes. Was he 18 as well? That's a big one if he's 18. I love Austin Hayes. My boy Austin Mountcastle going to be the future of the AL East. All right, sleeve this. Uh, we're going to get to uh, Inception now, I guess. Ready? Get my uh, big points out. And let's go. Fast and Furious. This is uh, all hitters. Look at all the uh, – look at that. All uh, – all of our uh, highlight show, get ready. And let me put this over. Got our highlight show, get ready. Yeah, pro style. So pretty slow pocket passing. Pretty smart, spread out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do they lot, run a lot of option there? Uh, most schools run option. That's, that's pretty much that's, that's a lot of options. SEC is all options. So it's really like uh, not fabricated numbers, but... It's just like wearing down the defense. I mean, it's just, it's it's pretty much full court press. So, yeah, Santander, yeah. We got some uh, Orioles. Orioles are pretty good in, uh, all around. The Orioles, I think, are going to surprise some people, especially if some of their guys come up quick. They have a lot of uh, names in their system. They got Austin Hayes. They got uh, Dean Kramer. They uh, That Manny Machado deal, they got some big names. So, here we go. We're going to split this as usual. We got one hit in the middle there. Should get some uh, nice ones as usual. Good luck, guys. Inception. Let's uh, split this. Our uh, autograph is split there. There you go. 
And uh, let's show them off. Good luck, guys. The autograph's on the bottom there. We have, uh, as we always do it, shows up a lot easier on the screen. We have Bryce Harbour, Stanton. We got a Jose Ramirez, top pack right here. Yeah, AJ Puck, there usually is. Eight boxes. We got a Francisco Lindor and a Zach Collins rookie card. Nice uh, little hits right there. And like I said, who got the Indians? Indians got a lot of love going forward. That's all I see. Indians, Indians, Indians. Going to sleeve these guys up. We got the Indians today. Yeah. <clears throat> no, I mean, I would, dude, I would be breaking people down with the option. And if you have a uh, if you have a uh, big bruiser and a uh, fast quarterback, fleet foot it, you know, uh, Ken with the Indians. Uh, who got the White Sox? Oh, Josh. But yeah, no, um, it's uh, that's what I'd be doing. I'd be spreading out defense. I'd be doing uh, screen passes. Um, I've watched, I, I sat in a couple student sections really close to some football games to see the, the inside of what happens, you know, in games. And man, it is, it's tiring out your opponents. Um, Herm Edwards said it the best. He said, man, it's basically um, whoever has the possession, you know, whoever gets the most plays out in college is pretty much a winner most of the time. So it's just like pro, you know, controlling the game. I mean, those guys are 300, 400 pounds, some of those guys. Man, by the second or third quarter, you can run your 170-pound uh, pound, uh, backs slash receivers out, you know. You're not going to be catching those guys. Uh, we got a yeah, 61 out of 75. I've been seeing too many guys. Tony Dungy used to do it all the time. Just say, hey, let's just run the ball right up the middle. <laughs> With uh, Michael Pittman or something and uh, three and out, you know. It's just it, That doesn't work. You need to spread it out. It kind of, you know, curls and... <clears throat> It, just, it was kind of hard to watch. We got Jake Bowers. As I said, the Indians have a lot of hits. There you go. We're going to start clearing this out a little bit. This is all hits coming forward. We got uh, Bradley Newman. Top, top three hits right here. Mitchell Baez. There you go. Should have some more kickouts. Kind of clear this up. Bunch of uh, hits. But yeah, it's uh, it's going to be uh, see uh, who falls off, who doesn't in this time of uh, being off. Who's going to, you know. Uh, I mean, this is some guy's uh, prime right now, so let's just leave this kind of open right now since we're going to have some new hits, especially Inception and Fast. So let's go. Uh, box number two. We got a Jake Bauer. Cycle, hot dog. Anyone that hits Cycle gets love here. Get a Cycle in your rookie year, dude. Yeah, him and Biggio. Only Cycles last year, right? Or Trey uh, Turner had a Cycle, right? We had three Cycles. Trey Turner, Bowers, and Biggio, right? Was there any other one? Where's my stat heads? Where you guys at? All right, here we go. We got another one, regular base autograph. Should get some uh, cool case hits out of this, though. Here we go. We have a uh, another name that I know. We got a, a magenta red in the back. We got a Brezder. Hits on the bottom there. Uh, we have a uh, Jordan. I haven't seen that card yet. There you go. Top load that guy. We got a Patrick Corbin. We have a, a DJ, the, the man. And we got a Chris Paddock, 50 out of 70. There you go. 50 out of 70. And a uh, Seth Brown. A lot of uh, Padres. Color match for the A's as well. That's a cool card right there. Pulled a uh, Seth Brown patch auto last night out of our inception. So we have some breaks tomorrow. We'll have a fall night. Go uh, fill all those basketball breaks. Do some basketball tomorrow. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Put the yard on up. And our hit. Another one. This guy's been showing his face. That was weird. The Seth Brown and the Garrett Hampson. This is just like our inception, our immaculate. These guys hang out together in tops or uh, or companies. <laughs> I like Garrett Hampson. Got to see him uh, <clears throat> a lot, and he also uh, he won the batting uh, bunning thing. That the Rockies had a uh, bunning challenge, and we went and used their facility. It was cool. He actually won the bunning challenge in the facility, so <laughs> it was kind of cool to see their uh, horse game. And they left it up. Uh, we went and used uh, their facility uh, during uh, a conference, so. I got to use the Rockies facility. It's really cool, the spring training facility. <clears throat> All right. Now, this year we got to throw axes with Chris Bryant. <laughs> I got to go uh, meet Chris Bryant. All right. There you go, uh, Anthony, right? Rockies have been hitting well. <clears throat> the Rockies and Pirates have been hitting every single break, pretty much. Or uh, uh, A's. Here we go. This should be a patch, right? Usually one and three. You usually get uh, four patches, right? Per. Here we go. It is a uh, regular. Could be a uh, silver. Should get some uh, patchy action in this, though. Let's see? Let's get the silver. Let's see. We got another one coming up. Another uh, regular. We have a uh, split it. Another red coming up. We have a uh, Dylan Cease. There you go, Dylan. Dylan. We have a uh, City Guard. We have a Keston. Uh, we have a uh, Rios. And we have a uh, Freddie Freeman, 42. 42. Jackie Robinson, 42. Nice card right there. And a uh, Justin Dunn. Another uh, color match green. 
and on Ma. Something's on this other computer. I was like, I thought it was my. Uh, there you go. And another hit. Man, <laughs> this team, this team, they did this last inception, a 220. The Indians should never sit in inception. They had two autographs in the last inception, too. Or three. They had three autographs in that last inception case we did. There you go. Indians. Indians, Indians have a lot of hits. I might have to start uh, marking the Indians up at this rate. Because they do. They have uh, the Bradley. They have Zach. They have a couple other guys. I like Zach. There you go. Indians have a lot of hits. There you go. Ken. Let me put these away. Get the highlight show going. All right. Uh, box number halfway through. All right. Try to get the uh, one of the horizontals. There we go. We got a regular autograph. We got four more to go. I'm just going to put them on the table so you guys can see them. There we go. Another one. Real. What? We got a magenta. They were talking about uh, this. Let's go. We got a Mikey Trout. That's a nice card right there. Nice Mikey Trout. I'll top load that guy. We got an Ari uh, Austin Nola. Uh, Arenado. We have a uh, Acuna. Let me top load it as well. We got Jose Ramirez and a George Springer 112 out of uh, 150. There you go. So our last four should be pretty loaded since we have another regular. By theory, right? Wow, let's go, let's go. That's why I like doing, uh, uh, what do you call it, mixers with Inception. I like, because uh, it only has one hit per box. I want to do Panini 1, but that kind of crept up in price already, so. Panini 1 is a good. There's no really paper products in football. That's the one thing. There's not many paper products in football. We have Brian Reynolds, one of my favorite players. Hot dog. Out of 99, that's considered a case hit uh, because he is an all-star. Hot dog. It said Pirates. Pirates always hit. Pirates. Look at Pirates. Brian Reynolds. The all-star. Hot dog. There you go. Love Brian Reynolds. Vanderbilt University. There you go. Hot dog. Hot dog. Here we got some uh, big college guys. Let me uh, scoop up these four so you guys can see them. Ooh, there you go. All right. Let's put them on the table. It's pretty easy. I'm just going to scoot them over here, so. Move this uh, stand. Move it. All right. Let's go. We got uh, four more to go. This uh, this feels. Let's see. Patch, patch, patch action. Here we go. Should be. I've never seen five boxes in a row. <laughs> Actually, I have. I think I pulled like seven boxes in a row. That's all uh, regulars. Here we go. Feels thicker though. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. It is thicker. No, it's a regular. Regular. Let's go. All right. What we got? We have a regular. Let's see. There you go. Split. We have a Bruzzer. What's up? Yeah. You like that? That's a case. That's one of the. He's a uh, top outfielder. Uh, Jordan. Another one. There you go. Jordan. There you go. One thing I saw a lot of repeaters in uh, Inception. I've been seeing a lot of repeaters. I watch a lot of cases. A lot. A lot of repeaters. We got an Anthony Rizzo. And we got a oh, hot dog and a Punisher. Hot dog. 99. That's considered a hit right there. Big time. Magenta. Magenta out of 99. And our next hit. Yeah. Any all-star. That's big. Big. Pull the Acuna on card like that. There you go. We're going to put the Punisher up there. And let's go. Uh, I'm using, uh, I'm doing uh, 130s right now because I ran out of 100s. All they have is 120s and 130s at the warehouse right now, so. Um, these are 100s right here. This, uh, Michael, for the race, like, these are 100s. Um, yeah, those are 100s. All those regulars are 100s, yes. Yes. All the regulars are 100s. I'm using 130s right now because I ran out. Um, I, I tried to order about a whole rack of, uh, what do you call it, uh, 100s, but... Yeah, one one thirties. You know they they don't fall out, so it's just a little bit looser. It's kind of nicer. They don't squeeze them. But if you want to be super tight on it, it's a uh, it's a one hundred. Uh, you're gonna want to, you can get away with a one thirty though. All right, Jordan. Now they got two Jordans. So and uh, Astros got some hits. Those are considered. These are some pretty big cards. Right there, some Jordans. All right, let's go. Yeah, I uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are the silvers 100s? I, I haven't even paid attention. Silvers are, uh, let's see. Let's see if we get a silver in this pack. Isn't that nice? Let's see if we get a silver in this pack. Let's see. Here we go. We have a 
Say another one. Uh, same card, really? <laughs> Look at this guy. Same exact card. As I told you, there's dupes. It's Inception. Uh, we got a Walker Buehler. I saw one guy, his best autograph was like this guy's autograph out of Inception. Or is it Brian Reynolds? So it happens sometimes in Inception. There's been some funky monkey cases. Uh, we got a uh, DeGrom out of 150 and a uh, Carlos Correa. I just ordered eight boxes because it's so insane price right now. So I, uh, I'm keeping my orders down to about half case at a time. So we'll see what the next eight uh, from the warehouse brings. It's pretty much what we're limited to right now too. I can only order eight at a time because uh, there's only... I think three cases at the warehouse right now, so he held me, uh, usually holds me half case at a time, so it's kind of cool to see what half case kind of brings. It's kind of where we're at right now with uh, 2020. It's going to be hard to get full cases going forward, especially on uh, Bowman. Bowman is already uh, being split into like quarters right now is how they're doing it, so kind of let you guys know what's going on with uh, some bigger products right now. The bigger ones, uh, especially like uh, National Treasures, you only get like one usually if you're a shop. It's crazy. We used to order a bunch, but here we go. Michael, as I said, there are repeaters. There you go. Seeing double vision. Kind of do it right there. <laughs> so Inception's always been that way. Always been that way. I've opened up so much Inception. I've gotten like four autographs of the same guy one time out of a case. Uh, Her uh, Herrera, you guys remember that Rangers pitcher? I've gotten him out of, um, what do you call it? Um, the same box of Topps Chrome. You guys can look it up. Literally the same box, the same autograph. Like, what? All right, Let's see. Here we go. We got a patch. Sweet. Let's see, we're due for a patch. Got a regular. Looks like a regular. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Looks like a regular. Let's try to get the case it. Yeah. Let's go. Here we go. We have a uh, man. What is going on? What is going on? Another man. Here we go. Like I said, this is Inception in a nutshell right here. Here we go. We got a Stama. We got a Bellinger. We got a Rizzo. So it shows what tops can do. We got a JT one fifty. There you go, JT. I spilled you guys with the uh, three box of that tribute that was absolutely freaking loaded. Trevor Story, that's a hit right there. That's SP. That was a nasty half case of it. Usually Tops is never that loaded. It was a bow. Frankie Thomas, that was absolutely insane. Here we go. We got another big guy. I like this guy right here. Another magenta. We got a theme going on. Last box. We'll see uh, what we got. Boom. All right. We have a Cole Tucker. Cole Train. Uh, we got a uh, 84 out of 99. There you go. Cole Tucker. There you go. Nice pirates. Told you pirates reek. Pirates and uh, Indians should never hit. Or, I mean, should never uh, sit. They should never sit. They always hit. <laughs> that's a, that's a rhyme coming up. A's, Indians, and pirates should never sit. They always hit. There you go. Always, 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 always. Oh here, always. There you go. Cole Tugger. We got a Cole and a uh, Brian Reynolds. Some of my favorite baseball players right there. They've been uh, rocking it on the show, haven't they? I saw Tucker, uh, Phoenix rises up. That's why we're getting that Phoenix. What's up, man? Phoenix, Phoenix kids. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, Cody E. There you go. Uh, who else? We got the Rays. We got the Rays. Rays was a mini, right? That was Michael. Welcome aboard, man. Welcome aboard. You get all your base to go along with everything too. With the uh, Astros, we got the Astros. We got all the Jordans. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, Trent, you got all those coming to you. Cool stuff. All right, last hit. Let's see what we get. Let's try to get uh, one. See, and that sicko, that, that you're getting some uh, buckos. That's, that's how it is. It's how Inception is, as you guys see. It's always how this is Inception. This is Inception. This is Inception. It's how it uh, usually is. One team always cleans up. Always. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right, here we go. Last pack. Good luck, guys. I'll bring another eight boxes. Let's see how we end this one. Gonna end up on a high note. We got the case hit. I see something flipped. I see something flipped. Let's see. Look something different. See, let's see, let's see, let's try to get one of the old school. Yeah, we got a case hit. Here we go. We got a case hit at least. There you go. So we got the case hit on the side. The uh, what do you call it? The horizontal. Gonna bring in another eight boxes. So we'll see what we get for another half case study. Uh, we're capped at eight boxes at a time for uh, ordering from the warehouse shipment. So uh, right now I'll be bringing in eight at a time, running at eight at a time too. So that way you guys get a shot at you know a couple of the case hits at least, which we did. We got the Brian Reynolds and the next one coming up. So a case hit, as you guys see, you guys see that vertical or uh, yeah, the horizontal. I mean, is it the same? Uh, let's see who it is. I didn't see who it was. I just saw the uh, we got Mikey Trout short print. That's a big hit right there, and uh, that's a nice pack. There you go. It's a case hit kind of pack, and the autograph is is it man? Look at this, an autograph. Let's finish it up. There it is. Out of ninety, eighteen out of ninety. We got a Michael again. We had to raise. There you go. It is a there it is a silver. 
You can get a uh, uh, Michael. Michael, it goes to Michael. There you go. Three of them. That's what I said. This is what Inception. It's always. This is what it looks like usually. You get uh, the abundance of uh, hits. There's usually some teams that just the Indians cleaned up the first uh, case. There you go. We got the Rays, uh, the Pirates, and the uh, who was the other king tonight? There you go. Rockies. There you go. Pretty good stuff. All the rookies. I, I thought it's a cool little mix. We'll do another. I'm going to put a tier one. They get a little bit more hits. As you guys see, you get the case hits. Uh, the Reynolds is a big one, as I said, for uh, all-stars especially. So there you go. You get a silver. You get a rainbow of Michaels. There you go. And a Mikey Trout. Uh, we'll top load that guy. Big time. Big time Mikey Trout. All right. As I said, I'll uh, bring in our last half case had, what, four patch autos? There's a difference right there. That was probably the other half right there. It wasn't though, because we got the uh, we got the silver though, right? But you guys see it, it's different. We could get four patch autos in one, or we could get you know none and get the silver. That's just how they uh, they stack it. So I've been seeing that. That's how Inception's been big. Um, our last one we had what about three? So we the other side would have gotten no, since there's only four what patch. We even got the hor uh, horizontal patch out of one of them. So just kind of process of elimination. So. Kind of, I, I, that's why I like bringing eight. You're at least guaranteed at least a couple patches or at least the silver and a couple all-stars. So that's what I've been seeing in Inception all around. Uh, let me just get some of the bigger guys sleeved up. We'll top load all these guys. All these guys are big. The Tatis. Here we go. Brian Reynolds. Like I said, big time guys. I'll talk about those guys and they popped up. All right, let's do our highlight show. Get this all together. Ton of stuff. You got all the Roberts. These are big cards right now. Look at all this. That's why I like doing cards, uh, set products to go along with this. Because some of these products, like I said, are just all hit. Especially the archives and stuff like that. So, just kind of show off all of it. It is tough. It is tough. Like I said, some teams, like I said, are a little bit more loaded sometimes in cases of, especially Inception. Um, I've seen it also in our archives. Like one team had like four hits in archives one time. The archives that one hitter. Uh, we got a Tatis. There you go. Uh, we have a uh, Acuna, a Springer 150. Uh, Mikey Trout, we had an Onola, a uh, Horner, uh, JT out of 150, we have a, a Jordan, we have a Freddie Freeman out of 75, we have a uh, 75 Paddock, so I'm going to bring it in, I already ordered it, it's already on hold, we already got uh, another 8 boxes coming in from the warehouse, uh, like I said, I can order uh, 8 at a time right now, so um, they're down to their last nitty gritty of, uh, my East Coast is already out of Inception, so right now you're not going to be able to see too, too much more of it, so. How are you doing on the silver ink thing? That's like I said, the top folder is only one per case. So, silver, uh, those silvers are tough. We got Trevor Story, Carlos Correa, Justin Dunn. Pulled the Glaber out of the first. Uh, that's probably the best one I've pulled so far. I pulled a Lindor out of last year, one out of one, too. So, the the silvers can be good, can be really good. That's why I didn't see. I kind of put it down and didn't look. Uh, we got a Bryce Harper, uh, AJ Puck, a Lindor, and a Zachy Collins. All right. So let's see what else we got. So, a bunch of stuff here. Uh, let's see, put this here. Autographs. Pretty good stuff. Like I said, I got uh, some all stars. A couple all stars. Pirates. 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 We got some uh, kids coming up. Uh, cycle hitters. Case hits. Phoenix kids. We got a uh, whole rainbow of Michael Brasseur. 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 Uh, <laughs> uh, we got a, a Punisher and a. There we go. All right. Pretty good stuff. Names. All names. Yeah, yeah. No, it is. It's expensive. So. So you got the Michael yet? There you go. We got a, a Jordan. Just kind of showing off trying to get the glare down. We got a DeGrom out of 150. Some uh, Roberts. There you go. Kind of show off everything. We got a Shohei out of uh, uh, with 250. There you go, Shohei. We have a uh, Verlander. We have a uh, Dielic. Uh, Bo Bichette. We have a Jordan. I like this. Uh, kind of flows nicely. We got a Mookie Betts. Uh, Mookie Betts is a regular. Uh, we got a Dickerson. No particular order. We got a Buxton. Buxton's out of uh, 35 out of 50. We got a Mookie Betts. Mookie. There you go, Mookie. Uh, we have Mookie out of uh, 150, 21 out of 150. There you go. My uh, first case last year of Inception, best autograph out of it was uh, Justice Sheffield. So we even beat that already. Just going, uh, I remember that was one case last year. So it just kind of gives you the, the level of how cases can be. They can either be freaking loaded, or like I said, last year I had a case. You guys can look it up. The best autograph was a Justice Sheffield. So. Kind of going forward on Inception. That's why I like to do half case at a time. You get at least a shot at, uh, you're going to get multiple shots. So, so the last half case we did, what did we have? About four patches. So the other half, I feel bad for whoever got that one. So didn't even get any of the, <laughs> there you go. Cleared it out. 
that's pretty much smoke. That's pretty crazy, that one break. I couldn't believe how many patches were in that one. So I got Luis Robert. We have a uh, uh, Lester. As I said, our, uh, I think we have uh, three to four cases left. We'll, we'll check. I'll have to see what I'm allowed it. Allowed, allow, allocated, pretty much. Uh, we have a out of 99. Uh, I got an order Gypsy from LA, so. Yeah, see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that, too. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. We have clean Inception. Uh, I hit you with the uh, Tani out of a uh, single box, too, remember? It was the uh, uh, Yusei Otani out of 19. It was a single box of... I hit a patch auto. I got a couple patch autos out of uh, for Otanis out of uh, single boxes of uh, Inception. That's why I like doing them, because you just never know. Especially with the uh, case hits, we had a Lindor out of one out of one. I just like doing uh, personal boxes, uh, 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 divisionals too. Divisionals are just really cool of these products because you never know. Get a nice uh, short print of these guys. You just never know what's going to come out of any of these. Hit a one out of one out of the blue. Hit a Tom Brady out of a $25 spot out of a divisional autograph. Hit some nasty stuff. So it's a uh, fun, uh, and like I said, everything's shipping, so you don't really lose too much. So it's a fun way to do it. But yeah, Inception, like I said, it's very polarizing. You can either hit. Exactly. You can either hit a judge out of 10 or you can get a Justice Sheffield for the whole case. So you got to keep that in the back of mind. That's why I'm keeping it down. Uh, full case would be a little bit hard right now. And the value is just, uh, like I said, it's sometimes hit or miss with Inception. That's why I like pairing it, as you guys see. Look at all the stuff you get. So that's why you see me pairing it with stuff. A little bit of a safety net because, uh, yeah, it's it's it can be kind of brutal sometimes. This one isn't as brutal as it can be. So it was actually pretty good tonight, especially with the uh, Punisher, the, the Trouts. The add on all these, these uh, add up. These are worth some money right now, especially in tribute some of the base. So go fill those basketball breaks. I'm going to have some divisionals up for baseball. I'm going to put up the uh, mi mixer that you guys can kind of see, get your eyes on uh, what it looks like uh, next up in the spot for uh, tomorrow. We got Zach. Like I said, a lot of Indians. I never want to see the Indians or the Rays or the Pirates sit because they hit a lot. <laughs> Look at all these hits. Here we go, Michael. We got a Garrett Hampson. Rocky should never sit. They've been cleaning up lately. Mitchell Baez, the Padres, always usually get some love here. Hot dog. And then our uh, all-stars, here they are. Kevin Newman hit 300 for the foreseeable U of A bear down, bear down. Uh, we had a Brian Reynolds stud. Like I said, all-star. He's going to be one of the best baseball players for years and years and years to come. Hot dog. Like I said, that beat the Justice Sheffield. Then we got a case hits. Here we go. We got uh, case hit Michael again. Like I said, the Rays cleaned up. Welcome aboard, Michael. Um, then we had some nice guys. Like I said, these are nice autographs. Cole Tucker, nice names. Cole Tucker for uh, Phoenix kid, kid. Like I said, big time autograph right there for a local kid right here. 99 for the Pirates. We had a Jake Bauer cycle hitter out of 75. There you go, hot dog. And then we had Bobby Bradley at 35 home runs for the uh, Indians in the last couple of years. He hit 35 home runs not that long ago. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to uh, put up. Uh, draft is up $4 for our uh, shot at the Riley right there. Riley. Um, and then uh, we have basketball. Zion, we should be hitting some nice stuff out of that coming up. Um I might do a uh, Bowman's Best as I have one box left of this pretty much. I have one or two boxes left. I might do a divisional of that coming up. And then uh, here's the mixer coming up. Put it up here. Bowman's Best. It's a pro, uh, pro debut. I'm going to put up a pro debut uh, mixer. Kind of just put it up there. And our uh, here you guys go. Here's our draft. That mixer right there. Go fill that. Uh, cheap teams left on that. That left hand break right there. And then I got up our uh, high tech and uh, Ginter. Uh, some sick stuff on that. So, like I said, all all old school right there. 2018 and 17. So, see you guys soon. Go check it out on our draft or on our uh, on our groups. Like I said, go sign up. I'm going to have an NFL draft uh, break party going up. Um, and then we're going to do some just cool mixers going forward. The next uh, mixer I'm going to have go up on NSCC is going to be a uh, five-star Gypsy Queen 18, five-star 19, um, Heritage 20 and 19 update hobby. So it's going to be a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, seven boxer of that. So that's what's coming up. And then uh, I have high number heritage coming. That's why I kind of got some of this older stuff to kind of team up with it. So we'll do a divisional high number heritage coming up with uh, a mixer of two boxes with that. So uh, I got some finest 18 and some other cool breaks. So um, I got the auction still going for this, guys. Go fill it. Uh, playbook talking about football. We got football draft coming up on Thursday. Uh, this is still going. Uh, you got a shot at a TriStar Joe Montana autograph. Um, I still need bids. I think we're about $80, $75, $80 away. So these are about, uh, I know playbooks are like $200, over $200 right now. And Origins, hard to find right now. Uh, so go check that out. I have those up. Um, you get a shot at the Joe Montana and the Haskins. Um, 
And then the two basketball breaks right there. I have the one on the right-hand side. It's, uh, but uh, I'm trying to count many autographs. We have uh, 12 autographs all around in that hits. That's a lot of hits right there, that big one on the right-hand side. Uh, and then draft and uh, the mixer in the middle, $9. So we're ready to break those pretty much. I'll be live. I'm going to do a Gypsy Queen Divisional tomorrow, a Ginter uh, Divisional, and a uh, uh, Pro Debut we'll try to get up. So we'll see you guys soon and have some fun. We'll have uh, a lot of breaks up and uh, get some big hits. So see you guys soon.